Welcome to Autopilot. This video from Autoflight Logic is one in a series of videos that will introduce you to the capabilities and modes that Autopilot offers for both the Phantom 3 and the Inspire 1. While there are many great modes and features throughout Autopilot, this video discusses the heart of the Autopilot solution, the Focus Mode. Autopilot's Focus Mode allows you to control the aircraft while it controls the gimbal. On the Phantom 3, Autopilot controls the pitch of the camera. With the Inspire 1, Autopilot also controls the yaw in addition to the pitch. In the Introduction to Autopilot video, we explained how even in the most simple example, it can be very difficult to maintain smooth focus on an object, even an object as simple as someone standing on a pitcher's mound. We account for this by moving the gimbal or yawing the aircraft, but this can create unwanted jerky effects or the point of interest actually falling out of screen. There are other autonomous software packages out there, including DJI's updated DJI Go app, but most still rely upon you to maintain focus via the gimbal and the overall direction of the aircraft. This can and often does result in more of that unwanted jerky effect. Let's start by looking at Autopilot with the Phantom 3. Autopilot takes control of the pitch of the Phantom 3's gimbal, allowing you to fly without adjusting for altitude. You will still need to yaw your Phantom 3, but Autopilot will still greatly improve your video. Let's take a look at Autopilot with the Phantom 3 from the user interface's perspective. I'm going to select Focus, select Intermediate Mode, and then set the focus to me, the operator. We're going to go into the flight dashboard, engage the aircraft, set the altitude reference via the barometer, and then we're going to count down to engage the aircraft. We are now in Autopilot's flight dashboard and engaged with the Phantom 3. If you look on the right hand side, as I move the aircraft up and down, Autopilot is automatically adjusting the gimbal angle for my Phantom to maintain focus with me. Now you can see with the Phantom 3 when I move to the left or right, Autopilot does not automatically adjust the yaw. However, when I'm over here to the left and I move back up, again, Autopilot adjusts the gimbal angle appropriately. Even flying relatively quickly and up close to myself, the Autopilot software with the Phantom 3 does a very good job of adjusting the gimbal tilt to maintain focus on me as I fly up and fly down. While the Phantom 3 cannot automatically control yaw when it is in focus mode, it is a lot easier to manually control the yaw once Autopilot is controlling the gimbal tilt. So as you see here, I'm flying up and down, left and right, and then just using the sticks to tilt the quadcopter itself. The beauty of the Inspire 1 combined with the Autopilot software is that Autopilot can also control the yaw of the gimbal regardless of the direction of the aircraft. As the Inspire moves, Autopilot keeps the camera focused on the operator, even when I spin 360 degrees around. Going back to our original example, Flying back and forth and letting the autopilot software control the vertical tilt is exactly the same as it was with the Phantom 3. The difference with the Inspire and the autopilot software comes when you start flying left and right and you can see the autopilot software controlling not only the gimbal tilt but the yaw tilt. You can see that even as I fly 360 degrees around myself here, Without yawing the aircraft at all, the camera maintains central focus on me the whole time. It is worth yawing the aircraft yourself a little bit, or you may end up with some legs or even some props in the shot, but the software does an amazing job of keeping focus where it needs to be. Let's change the focus point away from the operator. I'm going to pick up the pen and I'm going to move it over to this playground over here to the left. As you can see, the software shifted the focus of the camera immediately to this new location, allowing me to fly freely without worrying about ensuring that the gimbal and the camera is focused on the right location. Let's look at one more example of this type of shot, this time focused on this beautiful house. And as you can see from the upper right hand corner, a little hard to see the Inspire, but I'm flying freely around the top of this building, different altitudes, different locations, different directions, and letting the autopilot software maintain focus on the center of the house. 
The following is one of my favorite things to do with the Focus software and the Inspire One. In this example, I want to maintain focus on this lighthouse, ideally at the top of the lighthouse. One way to do this would be to pick up the focus pin and put it on the lighthouse on the map. If I switch to advanced settings for focus, I can also manually enter the altitude for the top of the lighthouse. However, this can be difficult, particularly with a small point like this lighthouse. This also assumes that the map is very accurate, which in this case, it was not. Here is an amazingly simple way to get this amazing shot very accurately with your Phantom 3, but even more so with your Inspire. First, open the flight dashboard while in focus mode, but do not engage the aircraft yet. Point the gimbal straight down and manually fly on top of the object you want to focus on, in this case, the lighthouse. Now press set with aircraft position. At this point, you will have set the focus point to the right X and Y coordinates, but the wrong Z coordinates. This is where the cool stuff happens. Start the engage sequence, which will cause the gimbal to focus on the point above the lighthouse. Now back away from the lighthouse and use the gimbal knob on the left side of your transmitter to manually tilt the gimbal down a little bit. Autopilot will relinquish control to you while you do this, and now you can set the altitude manually as opposed to being forced to guess the height of the lighthouse. I set the focus point to the top, and now I can fly anywhere I want and maintain focus on the lighthouse. If you look at the map, you can see that the Inspire is definitely not facing toward the lighthouse. Autopilot is controlling both the necessary pitch and yaw of the gimbal to maintain focus, even when I got below the focus point, pointing the camera upwards. I think this is such a good feature that I wanted to show you a few more details about how this works with a different example. I'm going to turn on advanced settings so you can see the altitude of the focus point. I'm now going to use a simple example of wanting to focus somewhere near the middle to the top of this tree in front of me. This is the type of detail that would normally be very hard to see within the map view. As I did with the lighthouse, I'm going to point the gimbal straight down and then I'm going to fly out so that I'm on top of the tree. I'm now going to press the set with aircraft position and you can see that the altitude of the focus point is set to 144 feet. I can now engage the aircraft which will set the focus point to be at that point above the tree. Now I'll back away from the tree and use the gimbal knob to point the camera down. Look at the bar below the map and the number on the left hand side and you can see the altitude changing from 144 feet down to 35 feet. I can now freely fly and autopilot will take care of ensuring that the altitude of the focus point is at 35 feet. Interestingly, I can actually change that height from 35 feet up to 70 feet if I want to on the fly. Let me show you one more fun way how to use this feature. I'm going to set the focus back to myself, the operator, and then I'm going to walk over so that I'm underneath this tree. I'm now going to use the gimbal knob to point the camera up to the top of the tree. So now it's got the X and Y coordinates of where I am, but the height of the top of the tree. So again, this allows me to fly around, just a different way to mark the location of where I want the camera to focus. In future videos, I will also demonstrate how the focus feature is integrated into other modes, zipline, orbit, follow me, etc. Not only can autopilot maintain focus on a stationary object or point of interest, but a moving object. Bottom line, it's amazing. You can also explore the advanced settings under focus for other strategies. These include touch, where autopilot will move the gimbal according to where you touch the camera screen on your iOS device. Direction, where autopilot will point the gimbal in the same direction as your iOS device. And passive, which allows you to hand control the gimbal back to the quadcopter. This is particularly useful if you have dual controllers. However, it is worth noting that there is a joystick strategy in some modes that allows you to control your gimbal with the right joystick. And this may actually eliminate the need for a second $650 controller for your Inspire. More on this in future videos. The beauty of Autopilot is its ability to provide a helping hand when you need it and let you fly when you want to fly. In all cases, I think you'll find that the results that come from using Autopilot are second to none. Have fun and good luck.